Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, bringing the next episode of Life is Strange. Episode 2 was released yesterday of all days, and I will be playing through this. It'll probably be around 2 hours, 2 and a half hours long, so I expect this Let's Play to be split into 4 or so episodes. If you remember, at the end of the last episode, Max finally told Chloe that she has this power, and she also realised that the tornado is due in a couple of days, and she has a feeling that is linked with her time control power. Oh, here you go. Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. And there we go, that is what happened in the first episode of Life is Strange, if you missed it, and this will be episode 2. If you don't know what this Let's Play is, and you missed the first episode for whatever reason, it is a story-based adventure game with time travel elements, so think Telltale's Walking Dead slash Game of Thrones slash Borderlands, thrown in with a bit of heavy rain, and I, I don't know, it's a mix of lots of games made by Square Enix, and um, it's very high quality, I'll give them that, and the choices really mean a lot. So, first of all, the first choice I'll have to make is hit and snooze on my alarm. Which, personally, I don't do in real life, because that results in me oversleeping. A lot. But there we go, it looks so it's jumped in time after Max told Chloe about the time travel. Based on feedback from the first episode and my four videos I did on it, I am going to be not talking throughout cutscenes and during dialogue I won't talk over dialogue as that is just obnoxious. However, I am still going to talk. Like, I mean, it is a let's play, I need to give my thoughts on things, so I will justify my actions and my choices and hopefully you guys will agree. Although last time not many of you disagreed, or oh, no, a lot of you disagreed, not many of you agreed with my choices. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game. Instead of drama games. Mystic enchantment cards. Is that meant to be a nod to magic by any chance? I, I have a strong feeling it is. But um, instead of exploring the room, which I have actually done before, I will go and have a shower. I better not oh. leave without my shower supplies. That's a very good cool, Max. Uh, where are they? Does not taking these have consequences? Who knows? Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. You see, I would hate to live in, like, halls of residency because of this. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. And there we have Victoria, the character who I really, really Ow! dislike. Who, who, what? Who does that? Is there laughing coming from? I think there is. Who even, oh, that's the, um, the goth girl who was a jerk to me last time. Alyssa, I remember her name. And Julia, I didn't think uh, she was, was like the this. one with boyfriend problems. On those Ew, 
And we oh, shouldn't be watching this. Yeah, there's something Everybody's weird going on with Kate. Right Where are the showers at? Maybe I should look at the map. Actually, that's a good idea. Welcome to Black Hill. Um. Okay, that is my room, Max Caulfield. Girl showers. I'm guessing that is. Okay, so it's opposite Kate's room. But yeah, as I was saying, um, there's something weird going on with Kate because Chloe's dad, the security guy at the campus, is like stalking her big time, and she's getting hassled and. Everyone seems to be bullying her. Speak of the devil, here she is. Maybe this is a chance to speak to her. Maybe I can warn her of what's going on. I don't know, maybe that's a bad idea. Hey Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay, so unfortunately it didn't give me the option to tell her what's going on. And to be honest, if I was given that option, then I would. At least let's see what Max's After thoughts. my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Ah, okay, so Maybe Max just actually... talking with a friend will help her feel better? Max actually has a reason for that. She's waiting until a better time, I guess. So, time to have a shower. Hopefully this is censored, otherwise I might get a few flags on my channel. Something I do have to say about the game is the characters have very high, uh density hair. I I don't know, the models seem a bit plasticky. And to be honest, for a Square Enix... Oh, I know Square Enix is a publisher, not the uh, developer, but I swear the artwork should be a little bit better. I mean, now I'm using a new computer What's service up, on the higher settings. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. I'm sorry, but who does that? Who talks when they know there's someone in the shower who's able to listen to their every word? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. To be honest, I'm really hoping that her accomplices, I'm gonna call them, the <laughs> girl she hangs out with, I really hope they actually get some development. Like, maybe they have a reason for following her around and being bitches with her. Because she kind of hesitated when she backed up Victoria there. She didn't just straight up agree and call Max weird, she waited until Victoria said something and then, like, there was room, so she joined in and contributed. But, um, yeah, anyway. I'm supposing I'll have the option to rub it off here, which... Uh, I better get dressed, then go give back Kate's book. I'm gonna think about it, because, like... Well, yeah, it is gonna give me the option to erase it, as I thought. What is the point in using these? Is there any point in using these? Washing my hands, okay. Ah, okay. Sorry. I forgot. It's one of those places where you turn the tap on the shower water goes freezing cold. There were actually lots of people in the showers. They just had that conversation, seriously. Um, anyway, I think there could be something going on with Kate. I think she does have a hidden agenda. So, um, as far as erasing this goes, I don't know. I like Kate, but I'm actually going to wait until I talk to her before I pass judgement. I mean, oh yeah, I, I just noticed this. Trust no one. Like, but, yeah, uh, come on, that... Why would they put Trust No One there? That must be intentional. It must be, like, making the player doubt Kate. 
Because uh, Kate's story, if you didn't know, I will go into the character profiles. Kate, 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 Kate. Yeah, she is a... Da, 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 what's it called? She's abstinent and she has religious views. So, of course, that's why people are um, bullying her. Because people are unwilling to accept that. So, I think she might have a hidden agenda. I might... I think she might not be so goody goody two shoes that she's coming off as. Why else would people be investigating her? And she acts too close. I wanna, I wanna speak to her and find out for myself before I pass judgment. I hope you guys understand that. It's not just me wanting to be a jerk for once. It's um, me trying to do the right thing. Because if I just erase it and let her get away with partying or whatever it claims she was doing, then that's encouraging the lie that she set up about herself. So I think that makes sense. <sighs> no I hope it makes sense. Way. Wait, uh, what? This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up ah. after I find Kate's book. Okay, so we've already seen a few consequences of the actions in the first chapter. Kate thanked me for helping her, which was one of the choices I made. Victoria bitched at me for taking the photo. And she apparently raided my room too. I'm not sure if this would have happened if I uh, didn't upload her photo to Facebook. Victoria, but... of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Yeah, I get the feeling if I was kind to her when the paint was spilt, then she wouldn't have done this. Which, um, is good. I'm liking it so far. The choices I've ha I made in the first episode have had an effect already, and I'm like, what, five, ten minutes in? I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. I, I really wish I could clean my room that fast, but what am I looking for? Her book? No book here. Nope. Maybe it would be in the bookshelf, Max. Is that not a... No? No, you don't put books in the bookshelf. Okay. Um, you have a strange way of doing things, but I won't question it too much. There it is. Uh... Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. No, I'm not, I'm not even going to waste it. Oh, okay. There we go. Kate needs the book. Um, oops, and I did not... I don't want to add... I need to get used to controls, because basically... if you Obviously you're not playing, so you don't know how controls work. But it's right-click to rewind time, like that. But then you can hit control to rewind to the previous action. And then you can hold, right click and hold shift to make it go faster. It kind of gets confusing, so I often forget which Be is gone, which. Be foul soft drink. Um, but yeah. There we go, that's for time travel. I, I have no doubt that they only threw that in to remind people Aha, time travel see. is a thing. You're mine. Okay, so next port of cool is probably getting dressed. But I kind of want to... Ooh, selfie. Why not? Pajama no selfie. Smile. Take your power seriously. Your power seriously. Okay, whatever you say, Max. Was there any reason behind doing that? Does it count as one of the collectibles? Da -da -da. No? What was the... Why? This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. I suppose. That kind of makes sense. Kind of not at all. Ooh, is that a timetable? What lessons have I Mrs. got today? Mrs. Hoda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Okay, hey, Mrs. Hoida? I don't believe I've met her yet. Alright, so yesterday must have been Monday, where I had language of photography. That was the last lesson before the end of the day. So, uh, I'm meant to have English AP today, but Mrs. Hoida is sick, so the next lesson will be language of photography. See, with my powerful skills of deduction, I managed to work out what day it is on my timetable. I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. No, hey, very Einstein classy. Had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he really? couldn't even rewind time. How do you know, Max? I rewind time and find out for yourself. Do I have the option to play the now guitar? Now I can finally take this back okay. to Kate before I'm late. I'm not going to play the guitar As again. As I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. I'm not going to play the guitar now because I did that last time. Okay. Uh, Victoria? Ooh -hoo. Do I have an opportunity for revenge? Meanwhile, private number. Text from it. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay. Uh, Chloe's father knows about me. I called it. Because, yeah, I I deleted, like, I covered my tracks, I closed the cupboards and stuff, but he has fucking CCTV. I mean, come on, of course he knows I'll snooping through, he'll just check the footage. Um, 40 minutes or else, don't get high like in my... What? Max didn't get high? What am I missing here? Um, alright, I'm going to read through the text quickly. You there, Heppy, what about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that fast, I'm ass and I need your help. Like when you told Stepdork it was your weed. But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales, my treat. Uh, they, they have some weird ways of speaking. Sold, it's good to have minions. Got a bail, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Sad face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. 
Okay, so because the lesson is cancelled, I will um, be going for breakfast with Chloe by the looks of it. And there we go. Even right. with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. And like no time has passed. If you didn't know, then wait, is she? No, she spelled Candy right. I thought she spelled it wrong. Then that would have been priceless. Chloe is Max's old friend. Max moved away and then stopped hanging out with Chloe for a long time, and Fine, then Max I came won't back. You. No, I, I want to knock on her door. I want to disturb her. Uh, Max came back, and Chloe Fine, was friends. I won't disturb you. Okay, apparently I can't disturb Victoria. Fine, I won't disturb you. Oh, okay, Max, I get the point. Chloe became friends with someone called Rachel. And Rachel went missing a few months ago. Really? Samuel truly is a weirdo. Oh yeah, Samuel's the janitor. Yeah, Rachel went no missing. No reason to go now. Oh, oh yeah, I need to return the thing to Kate, don't I? Rachel went missing. I'll try and finish this. Rachel went missing, and then this is Kate's room, isn't it? And Kate? there's a big mystery about her. Come Nobody knows where she went. Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. But obviously Chloe is like worried about her, and Max is curious about. Her. She wants to know what happened. Because Max has all this power, so she assumes it's linked somehow, or there's something weird going on. I suspect the... I suspect Chloe's dad a little bit, but then again. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna snoop around Kate's room and see Kate if I can find anything. Kate is all anything. alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. I will pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Right. I'm calling it... Um, her parents, strictly Christian, Kate was pressured into becoming Christian, but when coming to college, she started straying from her ways, and she now is enjoying this lifestyle of recklessness, but she's keeping it hidden from everyone else, and she's making sure nobody else finds out about it. So when she went partying, someone saw her and recorded it, and that's ended up viral, and now everyone's going crazy about it. Tears. She's going to go through boxes. So possibly she regrets this? This is just a theory, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead as though that is the fact, so I'm gonna look for that. I'm gonna look for the evidence. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Uh, is this meant to be an image that represents some- Like, uh, everything is intentional as a filmmaker, I know this. Everything that they put in. Someone took their time to draw this, so it must have some kind of significance. It's not just meant to be a child drawing. It, there must be some kind of hidden message there. I, you guys are probably going to get fed up with me for reading into everything too much, but it's something that I love doing. Like, if any of you have seen the film Chronicle, and um, I won't spoil how it ends, but there is a clue of how it ends in the very first shot of the film. There's literally a picture on the wall that shows the ending Kate of the really film. really has a doting father. And, as I said, someone took their time to draw that picture, stick it on the wall, and include it in the shot. And that was intentional, because it's meant to foreshadow the end of the film. She has a rabbit! I'm photoing this. But yeah, Chronicle is one of my favourite films of all time, because um, cause there's this like really cool theory on it that not many people know. And I'd be interested to disclose that, but this is a Life is Strange video, not a Chronicle video. Field of view, achievement unlocked, thank you very much. So yeah, I might talk about Chronicle sometime at some point in some other video, but not this one. Ouch. She left out amnation. Um, wait, I need- I can't actually read that handwriting too well, so... No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you could have done in that videotape, and like a Jezebel, you released your harlot's image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Okay, so it's not just her parents who are strictly Christian, it's her entire family. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was, I swear, that was unintentional. Jesus Christ. Speak of a devil. Hey, well, I'm not speak of a devil. Okay, I'm just digging a hole. I'm really digging a hole right now. Okay, what's this? Um, I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. I don't know too much about this Stella character. Alyssa, as I said, a bit antisocial, and she acted like a jerk to me. I saved her from being hit by a rugby ball last episode, so... Uh, she's put a cloth over the mirror, so she can't, like, face herself right Why now. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? So, she does regret what she's doing, but if she didn't do it, then she wouldn't regret it. Surely that's a clue in itself. Okay, have I searched... Oh, let's have a look at her clothes. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Huh. I just realised, I like, she... I said, can I come in to give her a book, and I've just been going around her room for about five minutes. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Oh, what? Now that... Now that Max has said it, I don't feel so smart. Aw. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had what? nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. 
What note was it she wrote? Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I have a feeling if I knew the Bible and the passages and what stories they related to, then this would have some kind of significance. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. And that has been crossed out, so she disagrees with that saying? I I don't know. As I said, I'm going to read into things a lot, but I can't read into them too much. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> Max, you're not very really accepting of uh, religion, are you? You're it's worse than me. way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Okay, and have a look at this photo. I almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. So, has something happened recently that's made her start acting up? I think that actually might be more likely than this whole split personality type deal. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Okay, yeah, that compared to the previous drawings, there's something going on. Ouch. And I've already read she that one. She left out Amnation. Okay, let's, um, let's stop Poor dallying. Kate. She and doesn't look good. Talk to Kate, uh, and let's find out hey, what her Kate, excuse is. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Um, I did have a choice. That's a complete lie. And Max does hate bullies from what I know. I mean, she hates Victoria. At least I hate Victoria, so I'm going to say Max hates Victoria. So I'm going to say I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Oh, sorry about that. Um, did I... Should I just be direct? But maybe, like, if I'm direct, she might just be inclined to lie straight away. If I question why, it will show I'm not just concerned about the truth, I'm concerned about her. Um... <clears throat> okay, smart choice is not to be direct, but I'm a no-crap person, so... Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgement. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Okay, so... Was she just really drunk or is there more going on? Doesn't sound like you. She knows that. Why would you go? I feel... That's all from those empty sympathy. Why would you go is kind of like, um, it's kind of like, I can guess the answer. She wanted to, I don't know, try something different, look at things from a different perspective. So I'm going to ask this. Again, it seems like I'm concerned that way as opposed to just looking for the answer. So why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. I I swear to God, I swear Christians aren't allowed to say that. Again, I could be wrong, but it isn't using the God's name in vain a sin. But then again, she's not a strict Christian, just her family is. Okay, so she might have been roofied or drugged or something. I'm not going to ask if she's sure. I mean, I'm not going to doubt her. I'm going to confirm her thoughts and say, yeah, that's not enough. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh, of course. Nathan Prescott. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I was gonna shout Nathan Prescott. I don't care about those two. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 Did Nathan do something really bad here? I, I, I don't want to make her say it, but I'll just push her out of comfort zone, so I'm going to ask if she's sure that's what happened. Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just being deductive. 
as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with how that went. She doesn't seem to have any kind of split personality. She's just going through a hard time. She was wanting to step out of a really strict lifestyle. And, um... And actually, I I do want to go back. I want to go back and, um... And redo that last dialogue choice. About her... One sec. Oh, oh, God, how do I stop? How do I... St what have I done? Um, guys. Guys, I can't stop this. Um, uh... Is this gonna go to before the conversation? Shit. I I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to redo the last dialogue option. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go through and do the same. Oh man, I am so sorry about that. But yeah, I just wanted to redo the last dialogue option because she reacted as though I was doubting her and I didn't want that. Um, yeah, I wanted to be direct here, wasn't it? So, skip that, skip that. Um, sorry about that. That was a big mistake. Apparently, you can't rewind to specific dialogue options. Apparently, um, so, you have to redo the entire conversation. I swear Unless, God. obviously, there's a significant choice. Um, not, not, enough not enough to get to wasted I don't, was what I said there. I, I kind of choked on something. myself there. Sorry I about that. Go on. Um, then, Nathan Prescott. I remember Nathan, doing that. Yeah. Was, um, but I just wanted to see All if I can, I, I don't know, on. get a better response out of her, because I really wasn't happy with that, so... Okay, let's see how this and goes. That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or yeah, bruises. Yeah, that's, that's definitely better, because it so, didn't have that whole, what, you call me I a have... liar type thing. Jeez. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's just, that is Kate? honestly just for the peace of mind, because that was annoying me. I didn't like the fact I kind of uh, doubted her trust or whatever. So, let's put the book in a bag, and get the hell out of there. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me, or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh, what? I thought you were going to get me to investigate it. Uh, go to the police, go to the police, go to the police. Nathan Prescott, how does he respond to the police? He is a... Megalomaniac. He has serious issues. He doesn't like being told what to do. If she went to a police, she would. He would probably find out about it and go and do something to her, wouldn't he? That's what I would do if I was a megalomaniac. I would intimidate her and make sure she doesn't do anything like that again, or she retracts her claim. So I'm gonna make sure Kate has serious proof, because otherwise the police will go to him and say, "Did you do this?" And he'll be like, "What? No." And then he'll go and beat the shit out of Kate. Whereas if she looks for proof and takes that to the police. Then, bada bing, bada boom, he gets imprisoned. So, look for proof it is. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh, man. Okay, no, like, I know she reacted hostile, but she asked me if she should go to the police. She Good was job, having- Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. No, that's exactly what she wanted to hear. Why else would she ask? Um, do you want me to go to the police? She wasn't asking for validation. She was asking for advice. She was asking because she thought it was a bad idea herself. All I did was confirm that. And it's a shame I couldn't say I, I will find proof. It's a shame I just kind of said, no, don't do it. 
but I'm not changing that choice. I am. I feel that choice was justified. And going to the police, as I said, it could result in her getting hurt, or Nathan would find out about it. And as Max said, something I didn't realise is she was drunk. Anything she says isn't going to be taken seriously by the police. There's a bloody video proving it. Alright, Chloe, breakfast with you. Food. <laughs> Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay, I, I like Chloe simply for that she hates emojis, because I hate emojis. They are the most terrible, terrible thing. Okay, time to leave the girls' dorms. So, recap of what has happened this episode. I found out about Kate Marsh. I found out what's going on about her. I still haven't found out why... What's his name? Is it David, for security guard? Chloe's dad? I, found... I haven't found out why he's so interested in her. But, um... But I found out about Kate. I found out what's going on with her. And I found out about her personality a bit more and her family. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I actually kind of want to talk to Samuel because I'm curious about him. But first of all, is this Victoria's friend? Taylor? Taylor Swift. Oh my god. It's a I don't celebrity. think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Oh, yes. So this is... One sec. Rachel owes the money. Owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Is that Nathan who wrote that? Because Rachel's the one who went missing, isn't she? Anyway, Taylor, we actually, she does have a character outside of Victoria's wingman, so I'm gonna, Hi, I'm gonna talk to her. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Um, let's not fight. Come on. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Okay, uh, Kate's video, Victoria. I, you literally just said you don't want to, like... I, I want to get to know Taylor not through Victoria, so Kate's video, I guess? Talk about common ground, something that we both know about. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Uh, okay, it seems I have no choice. I'm going to talk about Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Ooh. We've had our talk. Sick mother, okay. Um, wait, can I... Oh, now I can inquire about her mum, can't I? Instead of talking about Victoria. Or well, I can be more empathetic. Empathetic? Empath yeah, empathetic. Because... Thankfully, Taylor has a reason for hanging out with Victoria, and I'm happy about that. Hi, Taylor. Okay, so can I be about your mom? How am I supposed to know about that? Isn't that a bit suspicious? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hey! I'm so happy with how that came out. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Bye. I, I'm so glad that was an option. I'm so glad I could do that. I'm so glad I could have just walked straight past her and not talked to her, and that never would have happened. But um, I'm curious about Samuel as well. I kind of want to talk to him. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Samuel, what do you have to say? I'm going to look at him first. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Okay, that's hey, um, nothing too interesting. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Casual tribal totem. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals, snow. Ooh, snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Okay, animals. Have they been acting strangely at all recently? Because isn't that the sign of a storm? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? A deer. A deer. I saw a deer. Oh no, a doe. Doe, a deer. A female Don't deer. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? 
My spirit animal is a squirrel. I saw a squirrel on the bench. I remember seeing a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, maybe Samuel's got more going on for him too. Because if I saw the doe at the storm, I saw the squirrel as well. Maybe he's going to play a big role. Or maybe he's going to at least... Maybe he'll be one of the people who realises there's a storm coming. Everyone will think he's crazy. And I will be there to say, No, you're not crazy. Oh, is that Warren? Is this Warren? Please be Warren. It's Warren! Max, Yay! Check it out. My favourite. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh, he was totally waiting for me. Um, that was intense, thank you. That was intense, yeah, I'm gonna say that. It's, it seems like the sort of thing he would enjoy me saying about him. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? We were friends once. Just a pirate. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm doing because of a photo. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Is his top uh, jumper saying, with a box saying meow? That's strange. Warren, I completely trust him. Warren is the only character I have no doubts about. He seems like the most genuine person here, so I'm going to tell him everything. I'm not even going to... Yeah, I'm not going to push him away. Why the hell would I do that? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Oh, hell yeah. Why is it giving me the option to push him away? Is anyone actually choosing to do that? How can you not like Warren? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I can't believe it literally just gave me the option to friendzone him there. I don't care if that has consequences. That is going to have nothing but good consequences. If, oh no, because... No, no. What if something comes up and interrupts the movie? Or the night, and then he's like, oh, you bailed on me, you're so busy doing your own thing, you don't care about me anymore. Warren seems like that type of guy, right after I say he's great. Um, I don't know, I, I think I might go on to regret that, but I'm not going to turn him down on a date, that'll just make him feel insecure about himself. Then again, if I bail on him for no real reason, I can't tell him why. I'll just tell him why, I'll say, oh, Nathan turned up with a gun so I reversed time so I could shoot him and kill his entire family. That sounds much better than just, oh no, things came up, sorry. I hope it gives me options to do that. Look at that shadow. That's something I couldn't do with my previous computer. Anyway, this has been episode one of episode two of Life is Strange. Please leave a rating if you enjoyed the video. Let me... Oh, hoo, hoo, shift to move faster. Let me know if you have any feedback. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Let me know if there's anything you want to see more or less of. Because I've been exploring quite a lot this episode, but I have loved it. I've actually liked doing this because uh, the first episode I kind of rushed through it a little bit in the hope of sticking to the main story. But now I think the people who are interested will watch. And um, I get to dig into the details more, which this game is great at. Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Tobanga, that is the reason for the storm, I'm calling it. This is me, Evans was Ed 11 Please be rating if you enjoyed the video, and this is me out. Peace.